one of the things I do want to going to go over um, and show it's this is a nasty little choke that um, Wade Chalice taught some of us who were out in California earlier this year, um, kind of based on that same concept. Um, I'll be honest, the high probability of hitting it is not there, but it is something that kind of helps you build the concept of control and the shearing motion of having an arm, chopping the head, um, and the kind of different pressure and, and strangling that you can do in that kind of position, especially from someone's referee or someone's turtle when, you're, when you have like the front headlock. Um, I don't know what it's actually called, it's called the Wade Chalice Choke, but basically you're taking your hand and you're coming in, you're going in deep, right? Now the, the key to this, the, the key to this is taking your palm and putting it on like their delt. So as I'm coming over here, I'm bringing it and I'm grabbing like what I can, whatever I can, like usually try to get as high on the delt as you possibly can. Then I'm taking my, my left hand, grabbing the back of his, his tricep close to his elbow, I'm just bringing it in. Can you turn around and show it? Okay. So, so, it's the, so, so picture this coming in from the snap down, right? I have the chin strap, I'm, I'm here, I have, the, I have my weight, controlling him with my, my pressure. I'm going to punch my hand through and then turn to get to, to his shoulder. The key is I want to make sure that I have my, my chest pushing down on the back of his head, similar to what we just did with the, the guillotine. The same concept. I want my, my, my ridge to be underneath his neck while I'm using my shoulder to kind of bring his head down and kind of cut his head off. And I, again, it's not going to work if you keep your palm facing out. you got to put your palm here as you have your body pushing down on his head. And then it's just a simple... You just bring their hand, their 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 shoulder up, and it's kind of like a triangle kind of effect where it just constricts everything. Um, it's really sneaky for those who like don't know it's coming. If they don't feel like there's danger, because maybe they're like, "Well, I, I'm in a bad position, but I don't feel like I'm choking." Until you move the arm up, but uh, it's it's nasty, especially if you can get it quick from the snap down. If you're bringing them down, bringing it here. You're putting your pressure on the back of their head and just pull the head, pull the, the, the arm like a handle. Um, and it's, it's surprisingly effective. Again, you can even do it from standing. If I can get the guy down a little bit, I'm like, oh. It can work that way. It's a, it's, it's, people will fight it if they see it coming, but it is something to kind of work on and add to your, your, your toolbox just in case. because. It could be a cool highlight reel finish if you, can, if you can land it. But it also kind of builds off the concepts that we're working on on the front chokes with getting the, 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 the ridge of your arm and pushing their head down as you try to shear their head off. So um, anyone want to see that again? Do you need to see it? Um, so again, so we're coming down like, like we just did our, like our snap down. And so I'm pushing. So I'm, I'm bringing my hand all the way through as deep as I can. Now again, the key is to put my palm on his shoulder, right, as much as I can. And then the concept is I'm just going to take his arm and bring it to me. So I'm bringing it. Again, it's not going to work if the palm is facing out. The palm has to be against their body. And then the concept is the higher up the arm you get, the, the easier it is. Um, usually I try to aim for around the tricep a little above the elbow, just because my hand's right there. Bless you. Um, anyone need to see it? Bless you again. Anybody need to see it again? Right, let's, kind of, let's kind of give that, again, three and three. Um, play around with that. Um, try standing and um, from referee. Just kind of get a little feel for, you know, how you maybe you can incorporate that into your move. It could be a good setup for something else, but it also, you can finish somebody doing it and they might not see it coming because not a lot of people do that. So again, one, two, three.